Today we're going to concentrate on something that maybe we have a little bit neglected, is the transmucosal zone. And uh, I'd like to show you a concept that we have developed with my friend Eric Rompen. Uh, you see, we started 13 years ago with the curvy concept. You all know the curvy concept. You have seen some of the restoration of Iñaki. They have this concave transmucosal profile. We have always been concerned by this zone. When I started, I did my thesis in 1970. The subject was protection of the gingiva in fixed prestodontic. So you see, almost 47 years after, I'm on the same topic. But this year, um, we're going to show you something which is called on one, which is one abutment, one time. You see, curvy was interesting because we were augmenting the volume in the transmucosal area with O-ring. And now I think that this paradigm shift is common to every technician over the world, and you common with this. Now the on one concept is a little bit different, but of course it started from an idea that we still want to protect this zone. We still would like to be non-invasive and to respect biology. So let's see if this is possible. The thinking is that when we use a prosthetic abutment, we think the prosthetic abutment is a restorative and prosthetic device. Not at all. Primarily, it's biological. Because everything which is underneath this yellow line is where Mother Nature wants to make the soft tissue readhere, the biologic space. Only on top is the prosthetic level. So you see that there is a conflict. On one piece, we would like to achieve two things, be biological and be prosthetic. So the idea was, can we separate those two aspects and make them different but connected, like a two-piece concept? You see, this is the main idea. Why? I've always been concerned when I look at the literature, so how many times we see those kind of pictures. And for me, this is a wound, because we have removed a healing or so-called healing abutment, and we have created a wound scratching the tissue that had been adhering to the temporary abutment or healing abutment. So no matter the type of healing abutment. Once you need to remove it several times, this is an issue because if it's bleeding, it's a wound, and you know that the role physiologically and genetically of the junctional epithelium is to go to protect and go apically. And if it doesn't bleed, then you have created a pocket and it's ready for bacterial invasion. So what we want is to try to limit or maybe just to finish with multiple connection and disconnection, and more, even more, if you are in a thin or moderate biotype. Why? All this creates a remodeling of the tissue, except if it's very thick, but as I told you, we would like to limit the amount of grafting that we're doing. This is creating a tissue instability on the long term. So let's try to think different out of the box, as we say, and respecting the biology, reducing the invasiveness, we came to this concept, one base, one time. This is the idea. It looks like a healing abutment. It is not. It's a little base. If you remove the cover cap, then you can connect on top of it everything you want. Impression copying, scan body, you can do cemented, you can do screw retain, you can do temporary. And you see that here, there are two pieces. One is the base that will stay and will be never disconnected. You can see the base. So we made a system where with one base one time, actually we have two bases with two different heights. We have also two types of cover cap, but on this that we will never remove, we can place a, a prosthetic abutment, a temporary abutment. We can screw device technique as you want. Why 
Ideal, one abutment one time is ideal. And what you have seen is very biological with Anyaki because it's biological, it's immediate, but it's very complex. Who can do that? So most of the time, one abutment one time has been the vain wish. If you do screw retain, you cannot do one abutment one time. If you use cat cat technique on the anterior, how can you predict where the soft tissue will be stabilized? And it's not so, so easy. Uh, if you do scott abutment, if you use them, then to take an impression, you will need some cords. Um, we don't have a lot of uh, analog from those stock abutments. So you see, one abutment one time in theory is excellent. In practice, few people are using this concept. So cemented or screw retain was our desire because we doing more and more screw retain for easy reason that we can understand. But cemented is also possible with this system and bringing the restorative level at the soft tissue level makes everything simple. Even cleaning a cement uh, start being very simple. Also here on this system you can use only um, original component, no copycats. So for, sur for the surgeon is easy. I will show you when uh, he can place this uh, uh, little uh, um, base at the time of the surgery or maybe when he removed the suture. And then for the restorative dentist, everything starts being simple because almost visible. Of course, everyone can choose the level. Here you have this restorative workflow. So from left to right, you see the base with the handle. We have insisted with uh, Eric Rompen, and I want to thank the engineer and the staff of Nobel because they did something very interesting, not only in the handles that you will see, the handling system is excellent, but also in the connection that I will describe later. Cover caps, temporary post, also with handle, impression copying, and different type of abutment, different type of post. Some of them, that, like the universal base that you can see, on the left, you can have zirconia, on the white, titanium, and of course, scan bodies. So the system is ready for anything you want to do. A base is placed, it's never disconnected, doesn't disturb the biologic space, and on top of that, at tissue level, you do whatever you want. The beauty of this um, system is that the base has this kind of architecture with first a screw which is torqued at 35 newton centimeter and the connection with the, the suprastructure, the post, is internal, external. So it's very strong. You see, anti-rotational and, of course, both screws the first one of the base and the one, the prosthetic one, both are torque at 35 newton centimeter. So it's very strong and very reliable, as I will show you. This is a piece of jewelry. For me, it's a technical prowess that those engineers have done. The base has a conical connection with the implant. You see the volume of the screws and the suprastructure the prosthetic structure has also a real screw and strongly torque. So this system is interesting because with the two height of base, 175 and 2.5, and with the two height of cover cap, you have a multiple solution from 3.2 to 5 millimeter height, and this is strong and easy, because be biological is interesting, but the ease of use in the hands of clinicians, because we are purely clinician, I am clinician, is interesting. So when you look at this, you say, well, this is a healing abutment, the tissue is maturing around, but then I will not disturb this maturation. If I connect my impression coping, I can be at soft tissue level, slightly below, flush with the tissue or supragingival, you can choose with the flexibility of the system. And here you see the x-ray in such a case, and the restoration done. 
And this is a new type of aesthetic. You don't want to have your restoration to come very deep from the, the, the gingiva, the soft tissue. In the posterior, it's perfectly okay. It's cleanable, it's biological, and sufficient aesthetically speaking. So we need to redefine what we want in some posterior area. We want to maintain the bone. We want to maintain the soft tissue. And you know, not only they are linked, but they are interdependent. And the soft tissue is protecting the bone for, from more remodeling. Every conventional system that you use I still have a base. You know, a, a conventional system has this transmucosal area, only it's attached to your crown. But this is polluted in the lab. Who is cleaning, disinfecting this zone? Whereas our base, they are delivered sterile in blister. And you know, biocompatibility is not just the material, zirconia or peak or, or, or titanium. Biocompatibility is the quality of the surface. If the surface is polluted, then you will not have the attachment, the adherence, uh, thanks to those glycoproteins of the human cells. And also, some people will say maybe, but you put a little piece of metal underneath the soft tissue. Well, it's the same every time. When, when you have a screw retained solution, when you have a cemented um, crown on an abutment, it's the same. You still have one 1.5 millimeter of this titanium structure. Three so called healing abutment, one is not. One is an on one base, and this is at soft tissue level. So everything you will do as opposed to normal healing abutment, will not create this irritation, this inflammation, this bacterial contamination that will lead to reorganization of the soft tissue and migration of the junctional epithelium until it reaches the implant, the neck of an implant. So this is the principle. When Surgeon can put it during surgery, at surgery removal, or once later. You know you need two weeks to have the, the reformation of the uh, epithelial structure. We have insisted on the ease of use for multiple components, even the scan bodies. As I told you, it's transferring the implant abutment interface to the tissue level with this two-piece connection. And ease of use means, in our idea, no radiograph needed. You don't need to, to, put, to use a radiograph to see if your impression uh, post is really in place. Easy cleaning of cement, no bleeding, no pain. And you don't have to do any positioning indexes because everything is visible. You don't have to struggle with something very deep as we do, especially on the posterior. So you see there are multiple advantages because all, almost everything is visible to the clinician and it makes impression procedure easy. They can even be taken by uh, your dental assistant. Remember, cementing is an issue and I want you to see those photos because in 50% of cases, almost, you can find some remains of cement underneath the soft tissue. We are here, the cementation were at this level, so cleaning was not an issue and was really a piece of cake. Some views of the components. You can see provisional solutions, crew retain options. I told you body scans, it's an original design from Nobel. Some snappy and scallop pre-shaped solutions. So we will have a lot of options uh, to fulfill our different prosthetics options. And this is the case of this lady with um, one implant, uh, as you see, to replace uh, a molar. Options to take impression, easy. No anesthesia, no x-ray, crown is performed. 
Teflon is put in the access hole, torque 35 Newton. When you put the base at the first time, you don't, you don't have to go to 35, you can stop at 20 if you want. But we, we want to, you to recheck 35 Newton before finishing your case. This is absolutely mandatory. And the view, the x-ray, it's easy. As I told you, we have to rethink the aesthetic that we want to obtain in some posterior area. When you deal with normal teeth, you never do your cervical margin three millimeter below the soft tissue. It doesn't exist. Most of the time, we are 0.5, and that's it. So let's see what we sacrifice if we want to go very deep and not to use a concept like this one. The primary closure of the wound. And we made this um, little video with Nobel that will summarize the process. Normally we have some music, but maybe it's not possible here. So you have two different heights of bases to optimize your option. First torque, you can go to 35, but you can also be less if you want. And then you're going to choose the type of cover cap that you want to use. And then at this stage, it's like um, a so-called healing abutment. You leave it to mature, and then when you come back, this zone, biologic zone, has not been disturbed. The base was clean, sterile, and the adherence of the soft tissue strong without any contamination coming from different type of maneuvers. Now you need to go further in your restorative procedure. You just have to remove the cover cap, and now you can take a digital impression, an intraoral scanning, or just a conventional one. Send it to the lab, and the laboratory will just do the options you want. You want cemented, you, you want screw retain. This is the screw retain. This is what we like in the posterior. Doesn't mean it's very easy, because as Iñaki said, checking contact is always a challenge, but the whole thing is just simple, easy. And it has to be easy if you want to um, be successful. So another case here, the same type of thing, punch. It will achieve the primary closure because we will never touch it. Impression will be simple, doable by someone else. And here you see no irritation. Sometimes you don't want to graft all cases. This is a thin biotype, but you just want to stabilize it and to be non-invasive. So this is what we want to do now, uh, be biological and be less invasive. So take photos, as you can see, and very simple, never disturbing the soft tissue. We can now go on, make a jig, use this very interesting uh, uh, base. Uh, we call that the universal base that you can use for cemented or even for screw retain if you want. It's very simple and very practical. Also, it's very strong. This double connection is amazing. It's been validated for two million cycles. Two million. And, and, and the cycles being done at 35 in a solution and the fatigue resistant is amazing here. So it's been we followed all the tests in accordance to the ISO, and uh, it's effective, and I think it's safe. So to build a two-piece system which is resistant like this, I say it's a prowess, and I always congratulate the, the engineer for such a thing, you see. So the crown is uh, made here, so we come back, we're going to place the abutment, crown, final result, never disturb the biology here. 
So this is what we want. So in conclusion, I'll say, it's biological, so you like it, but it's user-friendly. It's easy, and this is what we wanted to do with Eric Rompen. With this, I want to thank you and to wish a very, very nice meeting. Thank you very much.